Hi folks, this video is an update on Amagami Ham Ham and Mofflin. I'm afraid that the news on Mofflin is not good folks, but the news on Amagami Ham Ham is a lot better. So unfortunately the shipping date for Mofflin has been put back yet again. They stated on their Indiegogo page that they will unfortunately need to change the start of delivery to August 2022. So unfortunately, folks, we've got to wait another two months and that's for Mofflin to be sent out to the Kickstarter folks. So I will have to wait longer as I backed it on Indiegogo. So now we're going to turn to Amagami Ham Ham. You may recall, folks, that I mentioned this in a video I did shortly after CES in January. So this little fella appeared at CES and he's by Yukai Engineering, who brought us Kubo. And what this little fella does is he nibbles your finger, but in a complex way. So it's got all different sorts of realistic nibbling motions as a very young animal would make. Comes in two versions. We've got the little cat here, which is actually my favourite version. And here we have a little dog. So I've been looking at the website that UK Engineering has devoted to this product since they unveiled it in January at CES. And I also signed up to the newsletter to find out when it became available. So I haven't heard anything from them by email. So I had another look at the website the other day. And this is what it said, folks. Now, previously, it says it said Amagami Ham Ham isn't available yet. Sign up to our newsletter if you're interested in finding out when it becomes available but now it says this unfortunately this product is unavailable outside of japan so i thought oh so that must mean it's available inside japan so what i did was i changed the language on the website to japanese and lo and behold, they are currently selling it from their website for 4,400 Japanese yen. So if you're wondering what all that Japanese writing means, folks, I put the text in Google Translate and this is what it came back with. Reservation for shipping in July. So it's actually a pre-order. I'm actually taking pre-orders now. And when translated, the name of the product is Sweet Bite Ham Ham. So in order to be able to reserve this product, I have decided to use Zen Market. So Zen Market is a proxy service similar to Ship7. So, as some of you may know already, I've used Ship7 to buy products from the US that aren't available in the UK. The most important item I've ever bought using Ship7 was Scout, because Scout is my IBO ERS-1000, because Sony only sells them in the US and in Japan, though now Sony won't allow Ship7 anymore. 
which is a big shame. So I know Zen Market's been around for quite a few years, uh, but I thought I'd look them up on Trustpilot just to see if they had a decent rating. And they have an excellent rating on Trustpilot. They score 4.5 by 7,227 reviews. So I thought that's good enough for me. So I found Zen Market very easy to sign up. You just need to give your name, your email address and you make up a password. And once you sign up, they give you 300 yen as a sort of welcome thing. And 300 yen is what they charge for each purchase. So... You're, you kind of forego that first charge on your first purchase. There's, however, another charge. You get charged, I think it's 3.2%, something like this, on any funds that you add. So I guess that's how they make their money. So how you buy something from Zen Market works like this. You go to the item you want to purchase. So I went to the Amagami Ham Ham shop. I put the cat version in my cart and then you cut and paste the URL for that page into Zen Market and I also couldn't paste a description of the item. After that you've got to wait for Zen Market to verify it and to give you a price. So that didn't take very long. And they gave me the price of 4,400 yen plus their fee of 300 yen. So I already had a balance of 300 yen, which was the free gift I received. So I needed to add 4,400 yen to my account. So what you do is you go to the add funds button and once you press that you're taken to this page so you've got the choice of a, of a variety way of ways to pay amongst them paypal and credit or debit card and i chose to pay by credit card so once i clicked on credit card I was taken to this screen. So you've got a box here where you put in the amount of yen you want to transfer. And then you can choose what currency that it will be charged in. So I chose Great British Pounds and 4,400 yen equal 29 pounds. 44 and I believe that includes the percentage they take as a fee. So after that you just add the normal details that you would if you pay for something by credit card like card number and expiry date and name on the card and then my account was updated to show that I had 4,700 yen in it so I could press the orange button to pay and then it changed to paid items and the status was awaiting buying. I also received a message from them saying thank you for your first purchase we will purchase your order on your behalf shortly 
when your item has been bought, the status will change to bought. You will receive an email when your items arrive at our warehouse. And when I checked my account the following morning, it had changed to bought. So because this is a pre-order, they won't actually receive it at their warehouse until July. And then I expect it will work the same way as Ship 7, where they will give me a range of couriers and prices. And I choose one, pay for the shipping and it's shipped out. So folks, as soon as they get my item in the warehouse they take some photographs and I'll share those with you folks and let you know when it's due to arrive. I'll also let you folks know if there's any more updates on Mofflin but the way it's looking at the moment is I will have this little fella in July and I'll be doing an unboxing and review for you folks and hopefully I'll have my mufflin probably September but that's it for this video folks thanks for watching as always and see you next time